Flippity flappers, I'm a yapper. <laughs> Hit the button. Hit that button. I identify as pansexual. The prefix pan means all. So what that means is I don't really kind of look at somebody based on their gender. I look at somebody's inner qualities, not really their looks. It's just more about their personality that, I, that really draws me in. I've been called fag, you know, queer, and it's just, I don't want to see myself as whatever words that they give me. There was this time in my life, and it was around um, middle school. I was being bullied a lot. People would just make fun of me for being Asian. They would just call me Ching Chong and a chink. I, I vividly remember the day that I tried to come out to my parents. I was a freshman. And you know, I kind of felt like maybe if I told my parents, then maybe that would make me feel a lot better about other people, about being able to talk to other people. I started with my mom. And I was like, hey, mom, I, I got to tell you something. And she said, what? And I had said, I'm not straight, mom. And she said, what? And I had said, mom, I don't, I'm not like other kids. And she goes, what do you mean? And I said, mom, I don't think I'm straight. I don't, I don't think I'm the person that you think I am. My dad was there as well. And I tried telling him, you know, he told me, um, take a shower and go to bed because it's just, it's all in your head. None of it's real. When people see me, they see me as someone different from everyone else. Like, I haven't really seen anyone Asian at my school. There's only like a couple of people. And I just don't look like everybody else, you know? I don't come from the same cultures or backgrounds as everyone else. As a result of a lot of the things that people had told me, I really just started shutting down. At one point, I was suicidal. It's just thinking that there's so much going on and not being able to handle any of it. I, at that time, I had felt, why bother? Why would I want to go through all of this? What's the point? This isn't what I want. This isn't the life that I want to live. So, I mean, I might as well just get it over with. But I know that one day I'll be the person that I want to be. It's caused me to become a little emotional, like too emotional, and I'll get affected easily by people's words, even if it's just a joke or something. And I get a little insecure about myself if I'm doing something that could influence how they see me. Like if I do something too Asian or something. I kind of, sometimes I think back at those moments and they just make me feel really worthless like I was before in that time. It's helped me by kind of making me more confident as well, that I should feel good about my culture and I should feel good about myself because that's the way I am and I didn't have a choice of who I could be born as. I've been supported a lot by my friends. My friends are kind of like the people I lean to when something happens. They reassure me that Everything they say, it's just words. It's not something that defines you. It shouldn't affect you in a bad way. I, I realized after a while that I really shouldn't think about myself that way because life, life is really worth living whether people realize it or not. Honestly, I'm still kind of struggling with myself right now. 
I still have a lot of things to learn. And I feel like I'm not the person that I want to be to this day. You know, I've always thought that it's, that I'm kind of like in a cocoon right now, kind of shaping myself into what I want to be. When I fully realize everything about myself, then I'll emerge from that cocoon a giant, beautiful butterfly. Because butterflies are awesome.